Hi everyone, my name is Rosalind Streeter. Welcome to the Journey of Vision, where you will soon learn it's just so much easier with God. Come on y'all, let's chat. Okay guys, so I am back with another video. This video is called, God Said Know Your Portion, Stick With Me. And this is related to God's heart and his mixed emotions. He released this to me on February 1st, 2024. So I am getting all these parts out to you. Please note that there is roughly about six to seven parts to what God has released to me related to this video. And so you know I'm gonna cover all parts for you, okay? All right, here we go, part one. God said, I need you to tell them to mark this date. February 1st, 2024. This is a date to remember. Miracles, signs, and wonders. I'm coming to see you. I will visit you soon. Mm. He said, I see you hurt. You're suffering. Your pain. I see your confusion. So I'm coming. Everything will begin to make sense. And as he stated, everything will begin to make sense. I started to see puzzle pieces, you guys, being connected in a way that it started to make sense to you. And even certain things that's happened in your past that you couldn't wrap your mind around. You was like, oh wow, that's why God did this. Why? This is why he stopped me in this area. This is why this happened. Hmm, yes Lord. Everything will begin to make sense. As I got quiet, I was working in the background and all I asked of you was to be still and know that I am your God, that I am still in charge, that I still hold the key to your promise and promises. So when God said, I still hold the key to your promise, you guys, I saw wealth transfer. Okay, and this is the full wealth transfer, not parts of it, when he said promise. And then when God said, and promises, I still hold the key to your promise, and promises, right? Then I saw streams of income, different businesses, okay, that you will create for the kingdom business. And this is what God has already promised to you. Now at this very moment, God is reminding you of what he's already poured into you. What did God tell you to start working on that you have started it a little bit, but pulled back? No, no, God's like, move forward on this. He said, I still hold the key to this. And will you be ready? Will you be ready with all that I have shared with you? When everything happens the way God said it's gonna happen, you guys, that's not the time to get ready. It's not, and that's what God is saying. So as you see different glimpse, glimpses in your thoughts, you guys, as God's reminding you and showing you what he's already instructed you to do, write it down. I encourage you to take a moment and just write it down and then get to work on it. And if it's multiple businesses that God has given you, to God be the glory, right? Amen. But also to take a step back and say, Lord, which one do you want me to start with? Because you can't do them all at once. You need your focus on one. And then complete that thing. And then God's going to direct you again on whatever's next. Okay? All right, you guys, so that is part one. I want you to take a moment, marinate on that. You know, everything that God is showing you, go ahead and start writing it down. Ask those questions to God. Lord, reveal it to me what you want me to do in this hour as I'm still being still. And just so you know, I can't release certain things to you. But when God said that, as I got quiet, I was working in the background. 
and all I asked of you was to be still. When he said he was working in the background, my God, I'm telling you right now, he is working in the background. There's certain things he can't release because certain people can't know about it. Hmm. But please understand, he's working. He is working. And it's all for our good. And like he said, he see the confusion in his people. So that's why he's showing up to clear up some things. So you can put the puzzle pieces together. Okay? So I'm going to stop right there, you guys. And just know, part two is coming right up. And we love you. Bye.